Hi, I'm Bobby, I'm Adrian, and I'm Tyler. Two things are part of our group but could not make it tonight. Welcome, Welcome to our topic about trash. Our central idea is humans are responsible for the amount of trash we use and how it impacts the environment. Our lines of inquiry are how do we reduce plastic use, how do other countries deal with trash, and does recycling and reusing help reduce trash? Hey, do you guys want to go see the recycling process at the Summit County Recycling Center? Sure, that would be cool to see and learn. According to Hayden, the recycling process is we put stuff in the bin, and someone who needs a tube bigger bin, and a haul it takes the recycling more. Also, in some of the we will mix up ones and twos. Now, this is the plastic and twos are good plastic or glass. According to the EPA, a government website, the recycling rate for plastic overall in a normal house is recycling was 9.1% in 2015. Wow, let's go see this place you guys keep talking about. Wow, there are some cool things here and how that smasher is clumping those different recyclables into blocks and then making them into new products. Well, according to the living facts about recycling, it states that recycling one aluminum can saves enough energy to listen to a full album on your iPod. Recycling 100 cans could light your bedroom for two whole weeks. Hey, what are you doing with those recycled materials? I bet they are taking them to the landfill. High Country Conservation told me that a lot of the recycled materials that go to get to the recycling center are contaminated because they have not been washed out properly. According to asthma, in high season July, about how much gets recycled and thrown away in high July? And the answer is 46.7% is paper, 8.9% is plastic, 6.6% is metal, 8.4% is glass, and 29.5% has been contaminated. Man, this place is bomb. It has so many things to do. Oh my god, look, they were smashing on the side push. I'm going to go do that. Bye bye. Well, there goes Gabby and Kyle, and I'm going to keep exploring. Hey guys, I found an article in the streets called 50 Trash and Recycling Statistics that will lead you think twice about your trash. It says over 2,000 landfills are currently open in the United States, making our country an uglier place. Also, according to some fun facts about recycling, the foil used to wrap candy is also recyclable. If we recycle one of these wrappers, we can reduce landfill waste by a significant amount. Chew gum can even be recycled in some cases. Why Earth? Can that be Mars? Could Mars have trash? Well, let's go figure out at a landfill. Yay! Yay. Man, it stinks here. Well, maybe because we're practically living in trash right now. He's got a point. Hey, there's the guy from the recycling center bringing the contaminated recycling. According to Newsella, it states that before the homes, the area used to be a garbage dump. For 50 years, the city put its trash in. They would burn it and spray it with chemicals. Many of this remained in the land. It is living in a neighborhood called Gordon Plaza. Yeah, That's also, pretty darn interesting, Tyler. Yeah, also according to another news article, it says someone says, it wasn't like anything like when we redid something. He points towards the landfill from his kitchen. There are stacked jugs of cold spring water in the corner. I would have never moved here if I knew it was going to get this big. The guy lives right next to the landfill. The water is contaminated with the stinks of hell. Hey, look at that big dump truck making a huge pile of trash. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, and how much they gather? They gather about 12 to 14 tons a day just by using that dump truck. Whoa. Ooh, what he said. According to landfill, mining is the next big thing in recycling. Says for more than 100 years, the world has been discarding its unwanted waste in landfill sites. There are at least 500,000 sites in Europe alone. Well, it's time for dinner. Mom is making soup with reusable bowls and spoons. Yeah. yeah. According to this side of education, about one third of an average dump is made of plastic and material. Every year, each American throws out about 1,200 pounds of organic garbage that can be composted. Composting. Also, according to Eric Fiamila, downstairs at Eric's composted 10,000 pounds of compost just in this January of this year. Oh, let's go to the ocean. <laughs> Guys, did you know that there was a great garbage patch in the Pacific Ocean? According to New Zealand, the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, or the GPGP, is getting greater. It sits in the eastern Pacific Ocean between California and Hawaii. The Great Pacific Garbage Patch counts 1.8 trillion pieces of trash. Also, according to the Great Pacific Garbage Patch USA Today, it says the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a collection of plastic, full of trash halfway between Hawaii and California, has thrown more than 600,000 square miles. 
The study shows that it's twice the size of Texas. Scubby, come back. Look at that poor sea animal with a plastic bag stuck to its fin. And it's going to eat it, and then it'll block the digestive system, and then before you know it, it'll be floating on top of the water. No! no! Also, when sea animals see plastic bags in the ocean, they look like jellyfish, so the animals go up and eat it, and that's not good. Hey, remember that small sculpture in Breckenridge that said the whale swimming in trash with trash on him and in his mouth? Say that. No, okay. turn the word. According to ocean plastics and sea turtles, 100 millions of sea turtles, whales, and other marine animals, and more than 1 million seabirds die each year from eating plastic. into the Gondwana, 20 stories high and growing. They will soon be taller than the Taj Mahal. By the way, the Taj Mahal is 240 feet tall. About 20,000 people can fit in it. That's super, that sounds super disgusting. Why do we want to go there again? Because we have to learn about India for school. So remember, we'll get out of India as soon as we can. Yeah. Hey, look at that pile of trash. Wow, oh, it's disgusting. disgusting. Yeah, it's about 200 feet, just like the Taj Mahal. Oh, guys, I found something really scary. According to The Dump Told My Son, it states that two people were killed. But nothing had prepared them for that one afternoon last September when a tower of trash broke away from the mass during monsoon rains. It crashed into a nearby canal, which created a surge of sewage that flung motorcyclists into another canal filled with dirty water. By the time the police arrived, two people were dead. One of them was the Murdy's youngest son, 19-year-old Andish Gonki. Ah, that's scary. This, this is not is the, the best, best trash handle place. We, we should, should leave. leave. Yeah, but both on to say one thing. If you don't want to live in the trash, then I would reduce, reuse, recycle, and not to little and to recycle. Today we produce far more plastic waste than can be recovered or recycled. According to the United Nations, we produce 400 million tons of plastic refuse worldwide each year, from which only 9% is recycled. The other 91% is either trashed, burned, or dispersed throughout the natural environment. That is bad. Keep the earth clean. Woohoo! According to goodnet.org, five countries are with a creative trash disposal making change. They are Indonesia, Sweden, Uganda, India, and Hong Kong. Indonesia is helping by using their trash for health care. Sweden is using their trash for energy. Uganda is using their trash in amusement parks to make stuff. India is using their plastic to pave the roads. And Hong Kong is using their trash in parks. I hope this fact inspires you to help too. And thank you Hayden Van Landau from High Country Conservation Center for, for coming to Breck out for an interview. And thank you Eric Manuel, the mayor, also coming for an interview. And thank you for all the websites we used to gain our information. Our action is to persuade town council to ban plastic bags. Now, here are some straws that you can use today or any day. They are biodegradable, which means they will decompose quickly when thrown away. Thank you, Laura Cronin, for being our mentor and helping us get here. Have a good night.